Hey guys and welcome back to another vanilla tutorial. Today we are going to mix things up. We're building something that somebody asked in the comments just quite a few weeks ago. We're only doing one of these a week so I'm a little bit behind but today we're going to be building a gatehouse. So we're going to flip this guy around right here and this is our gatehouse. This is more of a castle gatehouse than a city gatehouse but I think it I think it still turned out really really cool. I'm really happy with how it uh with how it's going and I think today because it's pretty much just split straight down the middle it's a carbon copy we're gonna just be building half of it since you can basically just co copy and paste it to the other side I don't really want to spend the whole time fixing up two of them and everything I still haven't figured out a wall design I want to be going with this but I'll be adding that onto it as well once we get to that point but I wanted to bring you guys in and kind of show you the thought process of this guy the wall would basically connect into here and that's how we would get inside of this area but we got a little gatehouse in here which would be something functional for where it would go up and down and everything so we can jump back out here and go ahead and get started now to start this guy we're going to be building the left half right here and then i'll just show you the flagpole and everything on the top we can do that as well so pretty much what you want to do is this is the design for the whole thing overall go ahead and copy this guy down those stone bricks are there above just kind of showing the borders of where the walls are the outer layer on the same level as the grass is kind of where this support structure comes up in the middle so you want to go ahead for now let's go ahead and bring that up to three high bring these up to two high going all the way around i'm gonna try and make this as quick as we possibly can so that up to three that up to three two 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 and bring this guy up to two just going all the way back for now we did something a bit interesting with the pathway here and i think it's it actually adds a lot of extra detail to it, just purely sloping it up at a very, very gradual pace because it really helps you bring out everything that's going on with it. So we got this base up right here. Then these extra ones that we have stuck up all the way up to the top, this side one right here, this is where it's connect to the wall. So you can just leave that. You can turn it into cobble, whatever you want for now, but we'll do the wall design next episode. But this, you wanna bring up one, two, so one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you want to bring that up to twelve high. That's how high the platform is to stand on top of the wall. So you want to go ahead and do that on all four of these guys just to get it ready. All right. So next step, now that we got all these pillars up, go ahead and bring cobblestone on the inside, basically creating a big U shape right here along these three walls. Go ahead and just fill this in all the way up to the same height as those guys. So basically you're just going to bring this straight up to here and just fill in cobblestone like that going all the way up. Leave that side open for now because that's where we'll work on the gate on the inside. So quick correction on this guy, you want to bring this out to be even with the cobblestone or with the stone brick pillars on the outside part, but the two insides need to be set in one. Now I want to go ahead and tackle this inside part. We're just going to be building half of it, remember? So bring up three cobblestone walls, so one, two, three. Then you want to go ahead and place a stair, another stair. You want to place cobblestone above that and then cobblestone there. And you want to do bam, bam like that. And a third one right there. And these guys you can turn into full bricks like that. Also my mistake, these middle ones turn them into just half slabs. But this is pretty much, you can go ahead and fill this in all the way up here to the top. And this is going to be where our gatehouse kind of is housed inside this little bit right here. So pretty much at this point, if you duplicate this going across, you got the general outside shape of the structure done there, all said and done. Now coming at the same point as that third cobblestone wall, go ahead and do a stair, another stair, and then you want to do like this and do that's where we do the full blocks going directly across and then fill those back areas in with cobblestone just so you can't see through it. Just kind of like that. Perfect little thing right there. So now just to cut our windows out, go ahead and skip one block up, break that, and break that guy right there. Break, break, and making the little windows right there. And in here, you wanna go ahead and grab your spruce fence and fill those areas in. Remember, this is in the middle, so you just duplicate it from pretty much here, going over to that side. Figure it'd be a lot easier going this way as well. Also, along this back side right here, go ahead and do the exact same thing we did on the front. So one, two, three, and then bam, bam, and then a full block right there and then half slab, half slab. And then you can go ahead and do that same thing right here. Stair, stair, and then full block, full block, right? Like that, and fill these areas in with cobblestone, bringing that up to the same height. 
Now you got this brought up as well. Go ahead and skip one, skip one, and place these windows in here again, doing stairs on the top and the bottom, and then doing those spruce fences in the middle, just like that. All right, so now to get our gates in here and go ahead and count in one, then bring it in like that, then three, and then one. And you wanna go ahead and basically fill these areas in right here, bringing this all the way up. One thing you can do to make it a little bit more interesting is go ahead and place a, we need to fill that in right there, and place a little bit of a stone brick pillar right here in the middle, kind of showing that it's supporting the gate itself. So for now, just go ahead and do it like that. It's perfectly right like that. Now we can go ahead and get our little pathway in here. We're just gonna use these stone slabs this time. You can go ahead and vary it how you want. But go ahead and count like that right there with cobblestone on the edge, and that's basically more or less how the path is gonna be looking. Then here you wanna work on just really making it look really natural. So you can bring it up right there, and then bring this all the way back over there. Basically you're trying to make it just look like something is sloped going up, like bam, 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 right across here. It's really, really easy to do. Pretty much just whatever random order you want to take it in, you're more than welcome to do that way. It's just super, super easy and it helps make the front entrance a lot more interesting as you're going into the castle or whatever you're going to be using this for. It just really helps with bringing everything together. We'll go with that de design for now. Like I said, you can really do whatever you want with it. Make it up as you go. All right, so to make things a little bit more interesting here, go ahead and do a stair, a full block, and then a half slab and a half slab. Then this right here is where our bar is going to be coming through for the um, iron gate that we're going to be putting down. And on these ones, go ahead and do that stair, stair. You want to do full block, full block, full block, and then half slab, half slab, half slab, half slab, right across there. And fill these areas in with cobblestone right like that, just creating like a nice U shape. This middle guy right here, go ahead and copy that outside design that we were using there in the main entrance in the back. And just to make things a little bit more interesting, sloping it down and whatnot, and it looks a lot better. All right, so on this design, we're using a double layered gate system. So there's gonna be two different gates. It helps with a lot with the defensibility. And so what you wanna do is count this going all the way across to the width of your gate, and then count it up one, two, three, four, five, and six, just like that. And it works out really, really well three four five basically just bring this guy going all the way across filling in these two areas and i will meet you guys once we got this stuff placed in because iron bars are a little tricky to place in sometimes it's a pretty thin way to do it so just take your time and break them and replace them if you need to and both of these by the way are on the exact same level all right now to do some more interesting bits we're back here on the front side you can do this on the back as well you want to count up one two three four five six seven eight you want to do that on all of these little corner bits right there surrounding the stone brick pillar so just kind of like this going all the way up and it's really going to help bring together the design we're trying to go with here on the top bit and then pretty much from here you can grab your stone stick stone brick stairs do the upside down and then like that just creating that kind of U shape right there. Just do that on all of the cobblestone walls that we stacked going upwards. And on top of that, go ahead and place a full block, full block, full block, and full block. It should look something like that. Now to connect these guys at the top, go ahead and place in half slabs on every other one, and then full blocks filling in those gaps right there. Really helps with bringing that design in together. It leaves this open face right here so we can throw in that kind of Tudor style window that we're going with. On top of these guys, just go ahead and throw a full row of stone brick stair or stone brick and bring that in right there as well you can bring this guy straight up to here now what you can do on this place is wherever you had a full brick go ahead and place in some stairs like that then do half slabs in between them and then on top of those go on top of the stairs go ahead and place in some bricks like that also i was wrong on these stone bricks go ahead and place them in on top of the half slabs it helps just kind of determine where the fence is going to be going for our fence going around the top, we're gonna go ahead and just use dark oak fences. Keeps it simple, making a nice dark, dark contrast to it. And on top of these blocks, go ahead and place some slabs just so that you can't really fall off the edge. Making a little bit of idiot proof on the top there and gives a little bit of extra height. Now to bring this across the center, go ahead and do a stair, and then do a full block. And then you wanna bring this up right here and do a stair right there, full block right here, and a stair right there. You can go ahead and bring that guy down and bring in another stair out right there, just kind of helping to bring it all together. Actually, that's going to be a one, so just do a one stair right there. Then go ahead and count over two. 
and then it'll count over two and come up right there as well. We can place that guy in for now and go ahead and throw the dark oak fences in there right now as well and you're good to go. Now for our last little bits besides our wooden structure, go ahead and come down here and do a stair, a stair, and break that block and place in a stone brick and a stone brick right there. Just You can come up too high if you want, whatever you want. But we're looking at this right now, guys. This is pretty much good to go if you don't want to do this little wooden part. Go ahead and basically just duplicate this onto all of the different sides and it actually has a pretty cool look to it. But if you want to take this one step further, you're going to need these items in your hot bar for now. You're going to need spruce wood, you're going to need dark oak wood, dark oak wood stair, you're going to need white concrete, white concrete powder too if you want to mix it up. You're going to need acacia wood, acacia fence, wooden trap doors, acacia wood slab, and the gray stained glass pane or whatever glass pane or fence you want to be using right there. Then on this guy, you pretty much want to come up here and I think it's right here. That looks pretty good to me. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And then you can go ahead and one, two, three, and one, two, three. And you can go ahead and break those out right there in the middle, creating this little window right here. Then you can surround this guy with the white concrete right there to give that tutory look to it. Place those glass panes in. Then right here, you want to do acacia fence, acacia fence, and then upside down stair, upside down stair. And you want to grab your acacia slabs and basically bring them straight across like this. And in the middle right there, go ahead and jump that guy up there so it looks pretty nice. Now, if you want to go ahead and bring in the white concrete powder, you can really just mix it in wherever you want. I kind of like doing something a little bit like that. Just gives it a little bit more noise and it really helps bring in everything together. All right, guys, I went ahead and caught the backside up so we're all pretty much even out on both sides, minus the wooden window or the wooden tutory area in there. Now coming into this area, basically what you want to do is just bring wooden planks, going, spruce wood planks going all the way across this area. You're just trying to create a platform right here so you can move around more easily and get all your work done. And we're going to make the little mechanism right here that I came up with for getting the gate kind of working out right here. These gatehouses normally are probably a bit bigger than this guy, but because Minecraft size, we're going to work with what we got. You're going to go ahead and place a stair right there spruce wood on top of it and bring that beam going all the way across here and it's basically going to come to right here in this area and then you go ahead and do a trap door and a trap door kind of trying to make it look like it spins across almost and then bring these guys in right here you basically want to turn this into a little three wide area so that people can kind of move around and everything it it looks pretty nice and you want to just go ahead and do that same thing on this side right here and the reason why we don't throw the trap door on the top is because our roof is pretty freaking close to where we're going to be working. So pretty much for the roof, you want to go ahead and bring in oak wood slabs going all the way across here like this. Go ahead and get rid of that guy. I'm not really sure why we brought those all the way up, but that's okay. You can go ahead and just fill this in right in here. And it gives you a nice little look and it gives a nice contrast and makes the room feel a lot bigger than it actually is. So you can go ahead and just fill this in going all the way across this whole thing and if you want to for extra bits of detail you can come in here and fill in some lines going from here going all the way back that way just so you can get some extra depth into your roof almost like that it really helps kind of bring things together and adds a lot of extra depth into the area like i said we're just building half of it so it looks a little weird but if you duplicate this around to the other side it will look a heck of a lot better now this area go ahead and just fill this in with the oak wood as well and just kind of we're creating our top floor where we can build our final little bit of added structure onto the top of it that extra little house on top of the gatehouse more or less that big guy right there that we're looking at right now all right so this is pretty much the layout you want to get started on that final roof bit so we're going to go ahead and start filling this guy in and we're going to bring this up one two three four and five to start so you can go ahead and do that and just carry that going all the way around those little guys sticking out there at the end, go ahead and leave these for now. We're just pretty much going to create a doorway right there out of cobblestone and fill that cobblestone in coming all the way up. So you can go ahead and do this on all the sides, just filling in these walls right here. And then we can get onto the last little bits of detail. Now for our little doorway right here, go and do a stair, upside down stair, stair, upside down stair, then a regular stair right there in the middle. Creates a little bit of interest to it. Go ahead and grab a spruce door. Click that guy right down right there so it's not super inset, but it gives a nice little bit of depth on both sides. Kind of like that. Looks pretty good. Now here on the front, we want to go ahead and count in by one like that and do the boom, boom, and there. And then skip one, do, 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 right there. And then you're pretty much good to leave that middle area open. Actually, no, sorry. <laughs> Messing up here. 
Slight mess ups, at least one per video. Can't get away with them. Right there and there. Now you want to go ahead and grab your spruce wood fence and fill those guys in and it is perfect. Now in between these, you want to go ahead and bring stair, stair, and stair. And it'll make sense why we're doing the stair right there to begin with. And you do full block, full block, and then upside down stair and upside down stair, creating a little bit of an arch right in there. And you do full, full, and full, and do a line of stone brick going all the way around right there. You can go ahead and bring these guys over as well. JK, forget those guys. Those don't come over yet. <laughs> My bad, more mess up, but it's okay. Now we can go ahead and catch this backside up right here. So remember, it's come in by one. Place that down and do that at the top, then skip two, bam, bam, bam. We're gonna do the side a lot quicker. So right there, right there, and right there. We're gonna do full, 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 and then upside down stair, and upside down stair. Now here in the middle on these guys, go ahead and count one, two, two, three, and four. Then place a slab on the upper half of the block, and then full block, full block, full block, like that. Now we're all caught up. Go ahead and bring that guy up right there. You can do that on this corner as well. So one, two, three, four, then slab right there and full block, full block, full block. Looks great. Now here you can go ahead and bring in a stair and a stair and you can place a full block, full block and then a half slab on top of those. And we're looking pretty good. We're almost done with this guys. We're getting there. Thanks for hanging in so far. And we are just about finished up. Now on this side, you can go ahead and just bring a line of stone brick straight across, place in those guys right there and do a block, a block, and then a little half slab on top of each. And there's a little bit of mix up in that corner right there. So we're gonna do this one together here right now. So you can go ahead and place them like that. Bam, bam, and do an upside down stair facing out on each direction. Then on top of those, you can go ahead and do that full half slab right there. And here in the middle, you can go ahead and bring in that full block full block and full block and place in those oak fences. We're using, or dark oak fences, sorry. And then you can go ahead and grab in your oak wood slabs. Remember to fill those in with spruce fences and bring that in going all the way across here. And it looks pretty good. And this is pretty much it guys. This is pretty much the whole build. You just kind of kind of flip this and build it right again. And it's really, really easy to get together. So that's it right there. I think that's pretty much all of it. Yeah, no, that looks pretty good. All right, so beyond that, guys, I don't really, didn't really do an interior on this guy. Didn't think of anything that really seemed fit. You could do a little bit of an armory or something in this upper area, but here's the flagpole. It just kind of plopped it down right there. Just some stone brick stairs on it. Got a little spruce wood, then spruce wood fence going all the way up, however high you want it to be. And then this is just a really natural flagpole design right there. A little bit of wind in it. You guys can take a look at that right there. I tried leaving the colors in it so much so that you could actually see the design and shape of the flag really easily. But guys, that's going to do it for today's tutorial video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If there's anything else you guys want to see, any types of styles, designs, or whatever it may be, be sure to let me know that down in the comments below. I've been really enjoying doing these. That's kind of a nice break from the survival. So it's fun to come over here and make a structure and then show you guys how I did that. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Please hit that like button. I already said that. I'll see you guys in the next episode before I repeat everything. And I'll catch you all later on.